Mr. Money in the Bank, Daniel Bryan, takes on an injured Mark Henry in a steel cage match. Hi, I'm Attack Slug. This is my ongoing Let's Play of the 2K Showcase mode in 2K15. We are in part 7 here, I believe, of the Hall of Pain, Mark Henry, Daniel Bryan, steel cage, hitting X, and let us do this steel cage match. Alright, here we are, uh, the World Heavyweight Championship in a steel cage. Mark Henry, Daniel Bryan, uh, I don't remember this match happening at all, but my memory, you know, is not, not great, uh, on a lot of this stuff, and certainly on SmackDown, and I'm pretty sure I was watching SmackDown at that time, uh, but, yes, a jaw-jacking punch, and a giant headbutt, obviously, uh, Making Daniel Bryan look believable against Mark Henry is certainly uh, a difficult prospect. Hammer throw. What? Okay. Hammer throw. Alright. Sure. If you say so. And he's gonna squish him. Good times. But you want to look at it realistically. If your goal was to actually escape the cage over the top, Mark Henry, that's not going to happen. Like obviously out the door, sure. But you know, and a pinfall, sure. Uh, but usually, steel cage is, uh, wasn't it? Pinfall or escaping the cage, and there's no referee in this cage, so I'm not sure this is just an only escape the cage match uh, or what the deal is. But normally there should be a referee uh, in the cage, is my understanding. But hey, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yes, all the way up to the second rope, all the way. Oh, big fat flop, failed it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Mark. Mark. Get. I don't like cage matches. Especially against uh, the AI of these games. I am not a fan because they'll just get up, pop up, and just. As soon as you're down, for any tiny amount of time. They're just gonna fucking, like a goddamn cockroach, just up that cell real fast. Up that cage. And that's frustrating. Because it's like, you could be doing the best. You could be doing amazingly. You could have your guy basically dead from five finishers. And you make one mistake, powerbomb. And they're just up that, up that cage as fast as they can go. And that's frustrating. From, from a, from someone who wants to play video games, you know, in any kind of a realistic wrestling perspective. It's just... They just got there real fast. Approach any corner. Yes, because Mark Henry's going to totally escape the cage. Mm -hmm. Sure. I buy that. Like that, At a certain point, that is going to... Uh, you, you have to suspend your disbelief on that, because it is not believable in any, in any measure to think that, hey, a guy like Mark Henry or The Big Show is going to escape a cage over the top. Like, that's not going to happen. It's not it's not realistic. Or Karana. Power bomb. Nope. Headbutt. Vicious. World strongest slam from the top rope. Or the second rope. Don't you do it! Don't you do it! That man has a family! That's it, he's dead. Alright. Here we go. One, two, three. And there we go! And then we're gonna get whatever this... All of a sudden he has the belt on, so sure, okay. Yeah, now it 
tonight's big show versus Mark Henry for the World Heavyweight Championship at the TLC pay-per-view. TLC. Let me continue to celebrate here because we are still the World Heavyweight Champion. And that's fun. And the announcers have stopped kind of like, well, we're going to stop talking now. It's like, that's not how wrestling announcing works. I'm sorry. That is not how it works. Alright, video package that we're going to skip past because, you know, video package. Um, that's a good time. So as soon as they uh, let me... Uh... Alright, so that uh, video package there was like, hey, Daniel Bryan cashed in and won the belt. And then, uh, well... Big Show won the belt, then Daniel Bryan cashed in at that pay-per-view, and then 11 months later, we're just not going to acknowledge the injury angle, none of that stuff, just 11 months later, then the Hall of Pain continued. Like, that's a weird, you know, that's a weird distinction to have it on. Obviously, you don't want to have the storyline in this showcase mode end on the fact that, um, you don't want to have it end on the fact that you lost the belt to Big Show, and then Daniel Bryan cashed in. Now, why they wouldn't have you play that match and have that play out in the game is curious, but as we've seen, they've kind of, you know, kind of done what, whatever they wanted to do with that stuff and kind of just, went, well, we'll just cover these certain events, etc., etc., uh, and that's, you know, just how they want to handle it, but it's interesting that they kind of just went 11 months later, because obviously Mark got hurt, uh, and then he came back for, you know, another short run for the Hall of Pain and then got hurt again, uh, was what happened there. So, that is, that is certainly, uh, a, um, an unfortunate, uh, bit of luck there for Mark Henry because he was having a hell of a run and then got stopped short by some nagging injuries that had to get taken care of, uh, when he was the champion. Um, and then he came back to try to continue that, but at a certain point it is hard to recapture that magic once you've already, you know, uh, been to the top of that mountain at that time. It's always hard to, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're getting a hot run, you seem to ignore injuries more or try to ignore them more because you're on a hot run and you want to keep going and want to keep, you know, doing better. Uh, but sometimes if you just get sidelined, you know, you kind of can't recapture whatever it is you had that, you know, connection with the crowd or the reaction you were getting because WWE tends to treat people like they have a very very short uh, attention span and memory and that is unfortunate because some of us have been watching for a long time I'm gonna pause this here to exit five minutes or less that means tomorrow's gonna be a short episode probably okay um but it means the people who have a much longer term memory who've been watching the product for a very long time now granted my memory in terms of you know particular, like, I don't remember Mark Henry vs. Usos at all. It was, you know, just a random match on Raw uh, in tw two years ago um, in Philly. I don't... <sighs> but, in the broader scope, I certainly remember a lot of the bits here and there from this storyline, so when they have guys who were injured for a while and come back and they treat you like none of that ever really happened because it happened more than six months ago, uh, that's always kind of frustrating. It's always like, well, no, I remember what happened in a broader scope. I remember what happened, you know, in, in a larger context. So, don't treat me like I'm an idiot. But then at the same time, they they expect you to remember guys who were legends who haven't been on TV in 15, 20 years or were on sporadically like Bret Hart. And they, you know, kind of expect that reaction from Bret Hart when a lot of their audience in that crowd is under the age of, like, 10 and has no idea who Bret Hart is. They don't have the appreciation for, for his legacy. But at the same time, they, you know, don't expect us to remember what happened six months ago. So they'll just kind of, you know, redo things that, that just happened. Or they'll, they'll ignore things they already set up. Like, we already set this thing up that is going to be important. And we're just going to ignore it for this thing that we're doing today. Because what we're doing today is more important than what we did six months ago. Like, that stuff is frustrating on the highest level. But uh, I'm going to end my rambling there. Uh, and that's what's today's episode of the 2K Showcase Hall of Pain. We're nearing the end of the Hall of Pain. Uh, we are not really that close to our goal uh, for Path of the Warrior. We're at about 21 out of 30 
uh, in terms of the total amount of dollars for the, the whole thing, including fan funding. So we're probably about eight bucks short right now uh, to make to, to Path of the Warrior. But hopefully we'll get there. Uh, we got a couple more events here for Hall of Pain. So hopefully, you know, those numbers keep creeping up and then we'll get to the Path of the Warrior, which is the final DLC. So I will tell you that. Until then, until next time, as always, I am your host, Attack Slug, and I will see you next time, every day, just about, on this channel. And I'm out.